I guess what I would like a normal New Zealander to do is to um, somehow see through all the rhetoric that comes out. It, um, it concerns me that I have the impression that the, the average person believes that the government is doing not everything, but certainly is balancing the various needs for fresh water between environmental, so social, cultural and economic. And I believe that a lot of that is kind of um, misleading in that um, they are using the Ministry for the Environment's processes to give the public the, the impression that, that there's an, a nice balance when I believe, in fact, the environmental guidelines are very unbalanced towards the environment and are far, uh, have a, are much more concerned about the economic consequences of that. What I'd like to have is to have a nice open debate where you say, this will be the effect on the environment, this will be the effect on social, cultural and an economic, and then you decide. Um, if you've got all the facts on the table and then you decide, as New Zealanders, we're happy to promote dairy agriculture at the expense of being able to swim and, and fish in our streams, that's fine. But what frustrates me is that the government seems to be promoting those ideals, whereas at the same time um, giving the impression that they're looking after the environment, which I don't believe the National Objectives Framework is. I believe it's just a way of um, kind of pretending that you are thinking about the environment in the, in the balancing of all of those four things. Um, so what I'd like the, the general public to do is to be more um, critical of what the, the government and many of the departments put out in terms of just not believing that it's um, a magic answer for all of the issues that we're facing.